Good morning, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce. My name is Joseph, I'm here with Dion. So today we're gonna look at quite a strange video. Uh, it's from Steve from Crypto Crew University. And he is talking about this whole emotional crisis that he's going through right now. He called the low of Bitcoin and uh, he reckons people are calling him out saying Bitcoin is going lower and he asked the question, what if he was wrong? Will he be completely rejected? Will everybody leave him? <laughs> you know, so uh, uh, Dion, what do you think? Do you think everybody will unsubscribe from Steve's channel <laughs> uh, if, if Bitcoin goes lower than the low? <laughs> No, definitely not. Steve's a great guy and his, his analysis is, is mostly just spot on. And he does so much historical research. He's very accurate. He's a great guy to follow. Anybody could be wrong. Um, you also have the big players playing against you. So, you know, but I, I, I think he's right. I, I, we also think the bottom is in. Yeah, so no, we won't leave him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's quite an emotional video. Um, so, um, but uh, I, I think it is uh, that just is a picture of what uh, crypto traders go through. You know, uh, you, you buy and the cryptocurrency don't go up right away or it even goes lower. And then uh, the emotions and the fear goes up. So this is a good example. Uh, but uh, uh, we are right now buying. We say this is a time to buy and to, to um, you know, um, expand your crypto holdings. And then when the crypto is going up, then we'll start talking about selling again. All right. Enjoy this video with us. About 120 days ago, when Bitcoin reached 17,500, we called for the Bitcoin bottom to be in. Not to be controversial, not to cause a ruckus. It's just what what I saw in the charts and I wanted to be open and honest and the high majority of people were on the other side of the fence calling for prices to go a lot lower. It's almost like being at recess as a kid and everybody is is over on the playground and they're all playing and laughing together and then you're over by yourself. That's kind of the feeling. I wanted to make this video of what if I'm wrong? What if, and by the way, the folks who say we're going a lot lower, it's the high, high, high majority of people on earth. And it's some of the smartest economists in the world from all different countries. They're all saying that we're going a lot lower. So I wanted to make a raw video. What if I'm wrong? How will I feel? How will I react? What will I do? What will I say? And I wanted to make this raw video to discuss it, open and honest. So I'll say, if I'm wrong, I'm going to be fully accountable and I'm going to learn where did I go wrong in the charts? What did I do that led me down the wrong path? And if I'm right, I hope you help me stay humble and not let my head get too big because this would be a pretty big call. When you have the high, high, high majority of people against what you're saying and some of the very smartest people, it becomes a big decision. But I think let's backtrack and let's look at where we've come from because we've been on a little bit of a hot streak with calls and it has to end sometime. So let's go back in time to figure out what's happened before and how does that impact the way we think now? Because we don't make videos to try to get clicks and views. I come on here to help people. My mission in life is to change a million lives. And I try to use my knowledge of the charts to help people like you make better decisions to have a more fulfilling life. It's really that simple. But the hot streak, it's a little bit crazy. Back in 2018, when prices were around 6,005 or 7,000, the high majority of people were calling for us to go a lot higher. That the bottom was in, that we're good, we're going back to a new all-time high. But a three-day death cross was coming. And we warned people video after video, a three day death cross is coming. We're going to crash and we'll probably crash down to the 200 week moving average. A lot of people ridiculed us at the time. It was, it was basically like that kid at recess over by himself. And sure enough, we had the three day death cross and we ended up crashing down to about the 200 week moving average. And then everyone flipped the same huge majority group that up here was calling for us to go higher they reversed and they said we're going a lot lower so we called for the bottom to be in based on what we studied in the charts 
We stayed true to ourselves. We didn't follow what the majority were saying. We called for the bottom to be in. And then after a couple months, we called for a legendary rally. And at that time, that was also not a popular thing to say. And, you know, a lot of people thought we were like legitimately crazy. But we ended up having what I would consider it was fairly legendary rally. And when we got up to 14K, we called for the top to be in because of a great gravestone doji candle. And at that time, you know, everybody thought we were going a lot higher as well. So that was not a popular decision as well. So we're always, when I look at this, you know, by the way, to be very clear, we did not call the top here. All right. But in January ish, so around this time frame, we called and we started warning everybody of a mega crash. This was not a popular thing to say at the time because we were still near an all-time high. We called for a mega crash to come, but first we said that, you know, just be careful for a fake out rally. Be ready for a fake out rally. And we rallied from around, you know, 30 something K up to 48. And that's when the mega crash started in our opinion, based on the way that we study the charts in a non-biased way, a non-emotional way, just the facts in the charts, this is what I tried to do. And the charts were saying to me that the mega crash was starting at 48K. I relayed that information to everybody who follows me in video after video. And then we had this mega crash. But when we got down to 17.5, the charts that I studied, the same charts that I studied back here, were screaming that the bottom was in. So this was tough. It didn't feel like the bottom was in, but all of the charts said that the bottom was in and the same charts that I studied back here. And when we said the bottom was in, the high, high, high majority was against us. So it's that emotional roller coaster in crypto, being somebody on YouTube that comes on to try to help people. I try to give a non-emotional opinion. It's just tough when my opinions are always against the high majority of people. So thank you for supporting me through these years, through all these tough calls. Uh, we have been on a bit of a hot streak. And if I look at why the hot streak, I just stayed true to the charts. So I would say if I'm wrong in this instance, I fully accept it. And it was meant to be. And I'll find a way to get better at the charts, but also at the same time, I'll be proud of myself for staying true to what I actually believe in the charts and not following what everyone wants me to do or say. I know if I make videos about what everyone wants me to say, they'll get more clicks and views and all, all these things, but I'll be proud of myself for staying true to myself, no matter even if it feels like the world is against what I'm saying. I think it's important to always stay true to what, what I believe. So I will be proud of myself, right or wrong. Um, probably the same level of proud. I think there could be a little bit of ego getting in the way if I'm right. And that's why please hold me accountable. If I'm right, don't let my ego get in the way. Keep me humble. Keep me grounded. And that's all I ask. And, you know, I think another important point is like acceptance. To be fully honest with you, I've fully 100% accepted being right or wrong already with the outcome. Nobody on planet Earth knows if Bitcoin's going to go up, down, left, right, sideways, backwards, forward. Nobody knows. Nobody. Literally. No human on Earth will know. Not even a computer will know. But I have fully accepted being right or wrong. And that's like a weight lifted from your shoulder. I recommend you do that in life. Everyone will face these decisions or have these fears and there's a lot of stress or agony related to that. But if you fully accept any outcome, there's, there's free, that you feel free. So I feel free. Right or wrong, I, I, it doesn't matter to me. I will be free and it's going to be interesting. It'll be very interesting how this plays out. There are some charts that scare me. I'll get into those videos. The majority of the charts that I study in the same manner that I've been studying them for years are saying that the bottom is in and it goes against everybody. So who knows? Who knows? But you, I wanted to make this video to give a, a raw, open and honest look at, at how I'm thinking, how I'm viewing and, and what will change. Nothing will change about my videos, right or wrong or indifferent. 
who cares? I'm still going to come on here and still have my mission to actually help you, to actually help you achieve more success in crypto and do whatever I can to try to make the charts more clear, more simple. And that's it. I'm, I'm here to change a million lives. Awesome. Thank you, Dion. Uh, this was a, a interesting video. Okay, we're going to be back just in a, a few minutes. So we're going to talk about uh, five coins uh, that could skyrocket and that can really make you a lot of money. Uh, and this is coins that we recommend in this month of October to buy. Great stuff. Cheers, guys. See you just now.